my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be a really quick review on the michael kors car leaf satchel so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so before we get into this video i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way if you're new here i am bridget and on this channel i do skincare makeup sprinkled in with a little bit of lifestyle so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to have you join the family now that i've got that out of the way let's talk about this beauty right here now i gotta say that this bag the studded bag has gotten some hate on the yt because of all of the stuff that's going on but if you know me you do know that I like a lot of extraness going on with bags not necessarily in the way of patterns put together but like studs and things like that I like all of that and the little frilly chains and stuff like that I like all of that but anyway this bag has gotten some hate um, but I like it let me know down in the comments if this is something that you like or if you think that it's the ugliest thing and if you think it's the ugliest thing that you've ever seen that's okay that that's that's okay but anyway I got this bag from the Galleria in the city that I live in and this particular size the medium size studded Carly satchel is on sale but the small one well let me let me back up the small Carly studded satchel is on sale for a 343 I think and this one the bigger one is on sale for $270. I'm thinking that that's the price. But anyway, I'm going to show you a quick little model of where I'm actually uh, modeling this purse. And I'm going to quickly talk about what I have in it just so you can kind of get an idea of what fits in it. I don't, anytime I'm carrying a bag that isn't excessively big or large, I tend not to, I don't like to overstuff it or I don't like to stuff it uh, because I don't like the little bumps and dents that can kind of show. So for me, I kind of have the bare essentials of what I just absolutely have to have. When I do model the bag, I am going to show you in just a casual outfit. And I decided just to kind of model it in a casual outfit, just to kind of show you that even though it is kind of like um, an extra bag or it is uh, kind of dressy you can dress it down and it looks equally as cute okay so again this is the Carly medium studded logo satchel bag and the measurements are 10.5 on the width which would be right here 8.5 on the height from here to here and 4.5 on the depth and the little drop right here is 2.5 okay at the top right here is braided okay you do have the embossed leather going to the top um, as well as on the side this bag does have feet you do have additional studs right here um, the hardware and the hardware right here actually reads has Michael Kors the way that you open the bag is relatively simple all you do is just kind of open it up like this this part right here is magnetic and then it just kind of closes shut and to me the magnets on the purse are very sturdy it's not like it can easily open or anything like that when you do open the bag you get a fair amount amount of space it's nothing uh, where you can just really keep a lot of stuff in in the front let's see in the back part of the purse you do get a zip pocket and in the front you get like just a regular slip pocket and just in case you were wondering there is no pocket right here although when you look at it you kind of think that it might be a pocket but it's not I don't see the measurements uh, that actually tell you how long the strap is but you do get one two three 
four, five, five extra holes to make it, uh, like if you want to make it a crossbody, you can definitely do that. As far as the chains that are on the bag that are right here attached to the strap, they are of the same quality as the Hamilton Legacy. So, you know, and I've said before that it doesn't really feel substantial. That's just my opinion. Um, also, you do get the little Michael Kors little, uh, name right here on the button and I think that that is probably it um, the canvas uh, just kind of feels like the traditional canvas and for me when I wear this I am going to just wear it with some jeans and a t-shirt or just jeans and then have on a pair of shoes and the purse I don't think that I would pair this dress up this particular purse up with let's say um, like a fancy outfit i don't know why but that's that's how i plan on wearing this bag so let me just quickly show you what i have in the bag okay so this is everything that's in it okay and in the very back pocket i have i keep just a pen all right so i'm gonna put that there i do have my wallet okay which i have all my money and my credit cards and things like that in i do have my coin purse okay all right, that I keep my coins in. I do have my bag that I keep, what do I have in here? My hand sanitizer, lipstick, Vaseline, things for my lips and lotion. I have it in this little bag. I also have my earbuds. And then on the front pocket right here, I just keep my mask right there. And that is pretty much it. Oh, forgot about this. And I have my BC powders in my zip pocket. So it's really simple. When I size down on the purse, I scale back on just the stuff that I just have to, have to, have to, have to have. <laughs> and that's it. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think about this bag. Is it the ugliest thing that you've ever seen? Is it okay? Is it meh? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until my next video, smooches. Whew. <sighs>